friend Sakadiris. So I'm in the car with some friends right now and we are in Saitama and there ain't shit out here. But the reason that we are in Saitama today is because we are on our way to travel to actually a pretty famous or I guess you would say infamous spot. One of these locations is called the Graffiti Black House. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's a literally like a black house with graffiti all over it. I get it. There's a lot of graffiti all over different infrastructures all over the world, but this one actually looks insane. The brief story behind this is I guess that this building used to be some sort of like investment stock company. Some shit happened where the company was going south. The owner had schizophrenia and all over this house has just a bunch of random quotes about stock, health issues. And the weirdest part is that if you go on Google Maps and look up the longitude and latitude of this area, this house is blurred out from every angle and I don't really know why. So I'm hoping that it still exists. We don't even know if we can go in, but at the very least we can at least be around the area because so many people and so many magazines and social media people have been to this area. I'm excited to see it. So I think we are actually gonna be there in a few minutes and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, see you there. Whoa, this looks freaky. Whoa, whoa, look at that. Oh my gosh, this looks crazy. I hear, wait, 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 turn down, turn down the window. Do you hear that? Wait, are you sure that no one lives here? In the article, it didn't say that the owner, whether he was living in there or not. So mm. there could be a chance that someone still lives there. Can we say hi? Yeah, there's definitely radio in there. It almost sounds like it's being like projected. Look at this, there's literally graffiti everywhere. It seems like they, he wants them to know about his health condition, but also about killing those who invade the property. You mean trespass? Yeah, it he just is a lot of stuff that kind of makes me feel uh, really bad about. Yeah, this, this, the, the, clearly some, some madman lives here. Oh my goodness. So we've been scouting the area. We don't think that there's anyone in here. There's a reason why most photos and videos of this place are from the outside. When you hear this audio, that means that somebody is like maintaining this in some way. This building right here specifically worries me because it says, what is it like intruders will be killed. I feel actually like watch. Do you think that there's someone here? Like right now? I mean, potentially. Potentially. Come over here. I need to show you guys something that will also make it pretty obvious that we shouldn't go anywhere. Do you guys see? The, those clothes nailed to the wall so above it says that like this was like the partner or business partner or whoever of the homeowner it says that the blood of that partner is on those clothes and to threaten people from going inside he nailed it to the wall so that people couldn't come in yeah i'm not going in there but the at least the outside looks cool oh my gosh oh uh, this place is so freaky dude oh my god dude the front also looks so freaky i can't imagine anyone actually living here but i see a bunch of shovels like lined up in front of the building there's a kitchen in there and there seems to be just some remnants of someone that used to live here i don't see this being livable for anyone but there's a satellite there's a radio going on like all the time there's vines here that are kind of like maintained so somebody must be staying here i think like if anything this is just weird oh you know what in the center that looks like there used to be like a bonfire actually it looks like there used to be like several fires around here too it smells like it was recent too yeah i smell that hey can i ask something yeah if someone does pop out and starts i don't know like threatening us what should we do we just walk away and just, that, just say sorry somewhere. and that we, we were just like on our way don't worry i'll take care of that oh shit there's Uh, somebody just came out and we immediately just like walked away and I am so scared oh my god my anxiety just like got the best of me with this place hey so I know a lot of you guys are wanting to see the man that came out of the house so what we have decided to do is show you guys the same footage again but overexpose it so that the light fixates on the figure that comes out of the house don't worry I'll take care of that oh shit there's <laughs> Oh, shit, 
so from here on out, I took my camera and I just vented for about 15 minutes on how I didn't know someone was going to live there and my anxiety was getting the best of me. And honestly, I was pretty ignorant. I should have looked deeper online before I went here because it turns out there's actually multiple sources that say that someone does live here. But on top of that, he's actually pretty open talking to pretty much anybody, especially YouTubers who are documenting. That was enough to push us to take a second trip back out to Saitama to go visit this man and properly ask him to tell us just the full-on scope about this house because I just had to know this man's story. はい、両派テレビとか、あとはこのゲーム放送。はい。あ、テレビ番組、え、NHK そのストックだね。あ、<笑><笑> The consensus I'm getting is that he kind of like invested into this company and they screwed him over and they took everything away from him and it drove him insane to the point that he started cutting himself. This is where it gets wild, okay? Uh, so then he starts contorting his hands and fingers in really weird ways and then he starts talking about how he went so insane that he wanted to rip out his eyes and as he says that he takes his fingers and sticks them right here into his eye sockets and does this up to this knuckle around this knuckle and he pulls it out like nothing now somebody explained to me why there is no blood because there was no blood i i don't know how he did that um but i think after that every other question we wanted to ask this man was just thrown out the window we totally forgot all the other interview questions that we had we were pretty freaked out we even completely forgot to ask about the shirt that was nailed to the house with the blood on it but we said thank you he let us go and we were able to get to our car safely i was actually pretty thankful and surprised that here's this man that just let three random foreigners go onto his property and just start interviewing him but it seems like he had a lot to say i guess someone that lives in a house like that there's obviously a story behind it and he knows that and i think that he's more than open to talking about his side of the story is that story true i don't know but he doesn't look like he's hurting anyone despite the fact that there is a bloody shirt nailed to the front of this house but let, let's just not think about that for now Yeah, the graffiti house, easily one of the wildest and trippiest encounters I think I've ever had on this channel, ever. 
if you guys think so too let me know but i appreciate you guys for watching subscribe to my channel for more content and i will see you guys in the next video bye